Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are back. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David, and joining me today is not Scarecrow. <laughs> he is currently at work, so sucks to be him. If you're out there and you're listening... Haha, uh-huh, you're not on the podcast. Also <laughs> joining me today, we have we have Amy. Hi all. We also have Stuart. May the fourth be with everyone. Oh god, I knew the, the, the figured the Star Wars <laughs> guy would crack, start the Star Wars stuff early. Yep. <laughs> we have Metal Rift. Rest in peace, you and Rand. Yes, yes, very sad. Oh. We'll get to that in a second. And last but not least, the man himself, E. J. L-L-A-P, bitches. He, he is so impressive, he only needs letters for a name. <laughs> and apparently for my introduction as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's only because I don't want to screw up your last name, which I know sounds silly, but for some reason, I can my brain cannot process your last name. Okay, now I need to hear you say it, just for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Anyway, um, on tonight's podcast, we have our top five sci-fi gadgets and uh, Star Wars Day. We've got a couple of things to talk about if we've got enough time, so we, we should get <laughs> on with it. But first, I'm going to let Cooper, I'm giving him a little bit of responsibility to see where this goes, probably, <laughs> probably badly, but yeah, Cooper, you get to say farewell to the yeoman for all of on behalf of all of us go well sadly um sadly today yeoman ron passed away at the age of 83 i believe and well it's another original series cast member down the tracks yeah. sadly may she rest in peace yeah um, oh sorry i was wrong it was 85 yeah i was just about to say 85 <laughs> well you got it mostly right yeah mostly right it's, it's, it's a slight improvement uh Okay, so, um, just for clarification, it was, I'm sorry, I'm just really quickly looking at my name, Grace Lee Whitney, who played Yeoman Rand in Star Trek, the original series, she was the blonde that was constantly bringing Captain Kirk his drinks and stuff, uh, unfortunately passed away, so she will be missed, she joins Nimoy and Jean and a heap of others who are already... Nigel, so uh, James, and yeah. DeForest. Yeah. No, Michelle's still kicking. So. Michelle Nichols? No, Wait, no, no, she's still kicking. No, we no, saw her recently. Nigel. 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 Oh, Marie. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. we know, we know Nigel's kicking. We saw her about two weeks ago. Yeah, she was over here for Supernova. <laughs> so, so, officially, I have now met every surviving Star Trek member. From the original series, main cast, so it's that sad. Is... Cool. But well, who's sad. left? Who's left? There's Shatner, Nichelle, uh, George, Walter, George, uh, George, <laughs> Walter. Walter. George, George, Walter, Walter. That's it. Yeah. Those, um, those four. Oh no, no, the nurse. The nurse is still alive. Oh, the nurse is still alive. Okay, I lied. There's one I missed. <laughs> oh no, she's not. Are you talking about uh, Nurse Chapel? She's gone. Oh, she is. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was Nigel Roddenberry. He passed away a few years ago. There's so many really? people we've lost track. Okay, well then I'm back to seeing all of them. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Still, it's still really Why sad. That there's only four left in the originals. Oh, I'm so conflicted. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and what gets me is that I, Stanley I, uh, is still alive. <laughs> I met him recently. Same. Last year. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, he was he was shooting like because uh, the Nobility Studio is in this warehouse complex, and there's uh, another studio right there that rents out space. And a Star Trek fanfic was uh, shooting there, and they had uh, um, um, 
and they they had him there as a uh, as, like he had a cameo or something, and I heard about it. I'm like, boo! I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what you're saying is and, you instantly invented teleporters and materialized in front of them, going hi. And he's just like, <laughs> he shall we get back looked, on track? He yeah. just looked up and it was like energize. Yeah. I love it. It's meant to be Star Wars yeah. Day, but it's Trek already. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just well, proving. Well, Sarah, just, just photos, and then when he walked by me on his way out, I was like a bumbling fool, like, N- "Nice to meet you, da- 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've all done that. Yeah, a few times. No, my, my, I, 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 the only I, time that's ever happened to me was when I met Seth Andrews from the Thinking Atheist podcast. Nice. And um, he was in Brisbane a cup uh, in March, and yeah, that was. I was say it's about a couple months ago. Yeah, a couple of months ago now. Anyway, let's, let's let's actually get to a topic. Ten minutes in, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, the main topic tonight is top five sci-fi technologies slash gadgets. So think of it like handheld, portable um, pieces of technology that's useful in a sci-fi sort of um, environment. Now we're going to start off at number five, and I'll start at my number five: the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, only because it is a handheld portable library that covers (laughs) effectively everything and the best part is just in case you happen to run across some pissed off Klingons it says in big letters don't panic (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is such a hilarious movie Mm. really Cooper Um, you do realise that's pretty much any any internet connected device now Yeah. (laughs) yeah Pretty much yeah, any I'm, iPad. Yeah, I'm well aware. Which is why I love my Galaxy, because iPads are crap. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, Here we go. I, I, no, iPads are horrible. I'm actually, I want to get me an Android tablet. Yeah. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, Amy, what's your number five? <laughs> I'm going to do the screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver? Yeah. Fair enough, fair call. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I knew someone was playing with one. I just had the the sonic sense was tingling. Of course. Two guesses. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said I was looking for mine. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right, Stuart, what's your number five? My number five is the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Noisy? <laughs> I, I still can't work that gun out. It is, <laughs> no, 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 no. It is a technically, a, according to their wiki, it is a laser weapon. <laughs> Why not- a laser <laughs> weapon has enough recoil to launch you ten foot backwards into the car behind you? I got nothing, nothing at all. Oh, but it's so perfect for the movie. Oh yeah, it's great for comedy. Actually, I, I'm gonna I, change I my a, fifth a... one. The the Men in Black clicker, the flasher, the the denuralizer, the denuralizer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well you, so I think I have one you, of those. Are right you here. changing your vote from a sonic screwdriver to a denuralizer? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Fair cool. Okay, EJ, I, I what's your I, number five, Mr. Well, really I, quick, I, I think I have a solution as to why the noisy cricket flings you back so far. Okay. It has to create an energy discharge in order to create, have enough energy to, to create a, a, a laser of that power, and it has to do it so quickly that whatever it uses to, for that energy, to generate that energy really quickly, uh, is what pushes you back. So it's some sort of explosive force or something. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's sort of like, so the, sort of like the, the kickback the on Final Echo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we're getting a little yes. bit of echo through you, EJ. Uh-oh. How about now? Excellent. Cool. Um, I'm going to see... Can I Hover... Oh, yeah, go. EJ, Sorry, go. go. Hoverboard. Hoverboard. Oh, yeah. Back to the future. Hoverboard. Yes. That, that's, a, that's a cool thing. I love the hoverboard. We actually got to meet... Um, What's Christopher his, Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd at Supernova just gone a couple of weeks ago. Nice. And we, I got my photo taken with him in front of the uh, DeLorean. DeLorean, which was <laughs> pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. he's an he's an absolute awesome and funny oh, yeah. guy. He's brilliant, brilliant. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Yeah. All right, Coop. What about you? What's your number five? Number five is the Sonic Screwdriver. Sonic. Of all the, I'm not doing it again. Yeah. 
So, so you just stole Amy's number five after Amy swapped to the denuralizer. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't notice. I literally just had to pop. I only just popped back in. So. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just stirring here because I can. <laughs> okay, number four. We'll start with Stuart. Uh, my number four. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go with the phaser from the phaser from Star Trek. The handheld phaser from Star Trek. Which yeah, one? So- Original <laughs> series, the movie, or next uh, gen? Next gen. Next gen. Next gen. Yeah, that that thing definitely looks snazzy. I like the the next gen style phaser. Yeah. Now, that's do you mean good. the Dustbuster or the ones for, that were also in like DS Nine and Voyager? That it, that's a good question. Um, uh, the one that was in uh, the ones that were in Voyager in DS Nine. Okay, pretty much the same, but slight differences. For but uh, no, uh, but very then nice, though. For, Oh yeah, but if you go to first season of TNG, you're talking about like the Dustbuster, yeah. and that was yeah, yeah no. no. <laughs> Just on a That's totally like a unrelated cannon. note, I've actually got a replica of the movie phaser in on my oh, shelf nice. Just over there. Came with the Blu-ray. It's pretty crack quality, but eh, it's got a stand. Eh. So <laughs> stands are always good. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, what uh... about you, Amy? What's your number four? I thought of something, but I'm going, would that work? The Jetsons car. The <laughs> Jetsons car. <laughs> uh, I'll allow it, but only just once. This, we're technically meant to be small handheld stuff, but I'll it allow is. it. It's, it's that, that's a suitcase. It, it, it turns into a briefcase. Yeah. I know, which is why I'm allowing it. But... Oh. <laughs> I'm have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> you and your breaking... Bending the rules, I should say, not technically breaking. Uh, so my number four would have to be the tricorder, because I'm more of a I'm more of a sciencey person. I'm not more of a, I'm not necessarily weaponsy person. And for me, the tricorder is awesome. You just look at a thing, you press the button, and the pot goes forward. <laughs> there. Okay, who hasn't done their number four yet? Coop. Coop. Coopa. Can Is he there? Coopa. Can you hear me? Ow. Oh god, I'm muted, I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> um I'll go for the unmentioned track tech, the uh hyper spray. The hyper spray, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Painless needle straight to the side of the che- side of the neck. Yeah. The, the, the way I sort of view the hyperspray is it sort of beams the crap just inside your skin. Which is yeah. probably not how it works, but that's just how I imagine it. I don't think they ever explained how that one works. They, mm. No, they don't. <laughs> so, good, then, since they never explained it, I'm right. Problem solved. Moving right <laughs> along. <laughs> see what Google has to say about this. Google! Google! Uh. Seriously, uh, if, if Star Trek actually represented the future, they would not... When they talked to the computer, they wouldn't say computer. They'd be Google. They'd be, yes. <laughs> do this. Okay. Did you want me to do this? No. No, no, no. Do this. Okay. Did you want me to do that? No. For the <laughs> love of God, fire the king phasers. <laughs> Release the Kraken. <laughs> The system uses a uh, non-invasive transport mechanism of compressed air to transfer the injectant from the device into the subdermal layer below the skin of the body body or artery. This is done without the use of a needle, the yada, 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 technobabble. That sounds like pure yada, crap. Yada, 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 yada. I'm just... Oh, Whoa, EJ, you're pinging again. Echo, echo, yeah. echo. See, echo. I'm, I'm just going with that it beams it inside the person. Problem solved. Yeah. So, everyone's done their number four? Yep. Have I haven't. Oh, I was about to say, did EJ? I was just about to ask you if I couldn't remember if EJ had. So, EJ, so, so many people I can't remember. Um, <laughs> Is he worse if Hawk was here? Oh, it would. Oh, yeah. Even worse if Rainbow had joined us. <laughs> I know what the hell's going on. You probably just talked about Star. You probably just have Stargate all the time. And Doc. And Doc. Stargate, the listener. It would have been good. Anyway, um, EJ, what's your number four? He'd be like, I want Wraith Blood. <laughs> or whatever that shit is. Inject it. Right then, time. Yeah, there we go. Um, and like, uh, from five through one, it would all just be Wraith Enzyme. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to say Mr. Fusion. Mr. Fusion, the portable power pack. That's actually not bad. That, oh, that's... from Back to the Future again. Yeah, Back to the Future. Mr. Yeah, yeah. So, so somebody would be jealous that we've met him and had our photo <laughs> taken with him in front of the DeLorean. Hmm. Anyway. You mean two people. Yeah. They're all bad. I've met him. <laughs> I met him a few years ago. Yeah, so did I. Anyway, Wait, he, he actually he signed my DeLoreans. Nice. Yeah. Slightly in your window. Anyway, not the point. Um, <laughs> moving yeah, on. Is. Moving on to number three. Just because he got to go last last time, EJ, you get to go first. Woohoo! Um, I'm gonna say a lightsaber. Lightsaber? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good for cutting toast. Not, not so good at not disemboweling yourself. Well, it, it's pretty good for hunting long pork. <laughs> so. Well, that's my number three as well, so you can just kind of skip me over. Okay. Well, that's, 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 we have two hunters of long pork on this show. I am, I am not going to say no to skipping over Coop. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walked into that one and you know it. Okay, my number three would have to be the Hollow Band from um, the short-lived Caprica. Oh, uh, that thing they put yeah, on their they, eyes. They, they, they put on their eyes and it sort of oh. takes, takes you into a Matrixy type scenario. I thought the the potential for that for sort of teaching and that sort of thing would be absolutely insane. So, That's not where my mind went. Oh, I know exactly where your mind went, and it was—it's it's, oh, fa- it's fairly close to where almost every male's mind went. As soon as they went, internet's for porn. The internet's for porn. Grab your dick and double-click the internet's for porn. Please keep this PG. I am now have to go through this and mute that part. <laughs> I'm we sorry. should just like every for every two seconds now just say the internet is for porn just so we can't edit it out. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Amy, what's yours? Internet's uh, for porn. <laughs> no. Um, Asgard the uh, communication crystal crystals. The, the little water droplet stone things. Yeah. I've got one of them as well. You I've, have lots of stuff. No, no matter how much I talk into it, Thor never answers. Like the internet <laughs> uses it for porn. Oh, will God you damn it. Drop it. I will permanently airlock you. I can't remove you from the call. You are <laughs> first and final, Coop. First and final. Fine. <laughs> I like how you're the one who's getting threatened, and, and I'm, I just keep it going over here. Like, that's your point, and it's report. <laughs> that, that, that first bit I've got no issue with. It was the second half of what he said that I had the issue with. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm taking double, double click the internet's for porn? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along, slap, slap, slap. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing, Sat. Maybe Ooh, it's a good thing, Bork's not here. Yeah, <laughs> it, it could be so much worse. Um, yeah. Stuart, what's your number three? Um, did, did you do it? No, I haven't no. done one. Okay, well, moving on to number two. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, my number two, no, <laughs> my number three is... Uh, I'm going to go a little... It, it has. I'm gonna go a little different. Uh, the astromorphers from Power Rangers in Space. Oh. Why not? The what? The morphers. Oh, the, the morphers from, from Power. They're called astromorphers because that's what they're used and stuff. So wibbly wobbly spacey wacy morphers. Tony, why me, you uncultured swine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, the the in space ranger morphers because they were cool. Okay. So. Moving on. That was about the time I stopped paying attention to Power Rangers. <laughs> well, I've, I've still, yeah. <laughs> I still watch. That that moment when I glance across my lounge room above my <laughs> Asgard crystals, above my phaser, and look straight at my Titanus with original Power, Power Rangers Mega Dragons on sitting in it. Oh, do yes! you want me to take with that the, with me? With the Power Rangers Morpher sitting in front of it. And I'm just sort of looking at it and going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then me, who's got my um, my, um, my gold Zeo and the Zeo staff, uh, the gold Zeo Morpher and the Zeo staff next to me as well. <laughs> oh, man, we don't. Yeah, have... I still have my White Ranger sword, so. That's pretty Saba. cool. Saba. That's pretty cool. We actually, he was over here as well, speaking of different yeah, people. Yeah, Chitty F was over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
the, this, the amount of random people at Supernova that happen to be involved in this list is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on to number two. Let's start with Coop. The Hitchhiker's what? Guide to the Galaxy. That was, number two. That was your number two? That was, my number, mm. that was my number five, so moving right along. Stuart, what's your number two? Uh, my number two is The Towel. The Towel. From Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because I'm needs gonna, a towel. I'm going to fucking stab you for stealing my <laughs> joke, damn it. I know. Yeah, that was my number one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I had this whole thing set up where the towel was going to be number one, and it was better be a joke, and you guys stole it, and I'm going to stop now. <laughs> That's because you gave him the list. Of course. Yeah, you gave me a list. Of course I did. <laughs> okay, no, I'll take that back. I'll be honest. Uh, honest number number two. No, nope, you've already got a number two. We're I'm moving switching on out. To... If Amy can switch hers out, I can switch mine out. It's only because she's Amy. No one else gets the switch out rule. Amy, wow. what's your number two? Zapper. Zapper. <laughs> the hen. Oh, weapon. there's Zat Nicotel, which yeah. hilariously is sitting next to my phaser. <laughs> <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> I've actually got a photo with me, Chris Judge, Jason Momoa. Where Chris Judge is holding my Zat and Jason Momoa is holding my Ronan gun. They're both pointing them at me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was a little bit hilarious. Anyway. I've seen that picture. Yeah. And you've got this, like, like weird grin on your face. <laughs> it's, like, <"Yee>, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, don't laugh, don't laugh, look serious. You better be pretending Come to stop up. the fighting. That's too late, the photo's taken. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Come on, I've got a picture Cause, of me and Hawk. With Christopher Judge in the middle holding um, two sniper rifles at him, and he's got two pistols at us. Very nice. So, but see, the plan was to go in, and I give each weapon, I say, okay, point them at each other like you're going to kill each other. I'm going to stand in the middle and pretend like I'm trying to stop you. And the first thing Chris Judge, is, Chris Judge does is giggle, and aim it straight at the side of my head. <laughs> at, which, at which point I hear Jason Momoa giggle and aim his down at the side of my head at which point I was laughing there was nothing that could be done <laughs> my, my brilliant plan and come undone and... okay <laughs> EJ number two yes yeah. ma'am um, I'm going to say the pew pew gun from Star Trek a pew pew gun pew pew gun from Star Trek pew pew by the way any sci-fi gun any sci-fi gun is technically a pew-pew gun. Because you point them and they go pew-pew. Fair point. Unless the giant cannon that Phil Coulson used uh, towards the end of the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's what that does. <laughs> yeah, that's what that does. <laughs> uh, by pew-pew gun from Star Trek, I mean phaser. Yeah, obviously. Uh, um, okay, my number two will have to be the sonic screwdriver. I don't know, it's been done to death already, moving right along. Because it's awesome and sciencey. Um, <laughs> moving on to number one, let's start with Cooper. The towel. The towel. The you're, towel. The towel. You're fired. You're a guest, and you're fired. <laughs> Stuart? You're yeah, so I'm frequent, thank you very much. <laughs> I think I think everyone knows what my number one's going to be. Fine, shit. <laughs> I like Saber. <laughs> so... Did you just say your vibrator? <laughs> because that answers so many questions. <laughs> um, I'll leave that one alone. And the best part is... The best part is... <laughs> Jody, say nothing. <laughs> I say the best part is Jody's in the chat room listening. <laughs> No, for everyone who for anyone who anyone knows me, I grew up with Star Wars, so my, my answer will default always go to lightsaber. Yeah. So My condolences at your intellectual ineptitude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I at least put the phaser on the list. Give me some credit. Okay. I, at least oh, I put the lightsaber on the list too. Same. Amy, what's your number one? Um Jack Hartness's watch. Time travel watch. Ooh. Ooh, oh, well, the vort the vortex manipul manipulator. Yeah. Just on a slightly random note, I've got one of those too. <laughs> We're sort of playing a checklist of what is on my shelves at the moment. I have a giant Lancer rifle got, from Gears of War and that's about it. I've got, I've got nothing. 
I've got an episode one Qui Gon Jinn lightsaber check, an Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber check, a Darth Vader lightsaber check, a Sonic screwdriver times about a million check, Vortex <laughs> manipulator check. <laughs> Okay, EJ. And, and now we know why you can't be run. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, well. Um. Well, the towel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said towel, everyone's just like towel. <laughs> towel, towel. towel. The towel no, but seriously, even need explaining. Uh, everybody needs a towel. Yeah, but, but, but no, sir. Exactly. No, but in all seriousness, um, you know, that thing from Doctor Who that I can use to confuse the polarity. That's a sonic screwdriver. And, 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 assemble, and assemble cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, assemble a cabinet at It's that? a screwdriver. Hang on, hang on. It doesn't work yes. on wood. It doesn't work on wood. It doesn't, but screws are metal. Not all cabinets are wood. Yeah, see? EJ wins again, Stuart, you lose, like always. <laughs> he, yeah, but he said wooden cabinet. No, he didn't. No to self. <laughs> Go back and make sure he does not say the word wooden. <laughs> Delete just, it from the podcast. The past, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, me for number one would be one thing that Star Trek did better than everybody else. And it's pew the pew uni- guns? What? Pew pew guns? Nah, the, the, the pew pew puns and. Pew pew guns in Stargate were so much better. Pew puns. <laughs> My brain is just, I, I, it's been a long I, I, day. I highly disagree with that, but go ahead. Yeah, I, I figured you would. Um, the one thing they did better and explained better than any other sci-fi series, the Universal Translator. Little badge mm-hmm. on the front translates everything so that everyone can understand everyone. For the most part. Well, There's a few that, that confused it, but for the most part. that You could, I guess, include the entirety of that that the com badge could be used in general as a transport, a transport locator of everything. It was yeah, kind of a, a little all-in-one gadget. Yeah, it is. It's a brilliant little thing. Which actually, yeah, which really believe it or not, I do not have one. So I have like three. <laughs> but would you really feel comfortable walking around with an RFID chip on you constantly? Well, no. Yeah. That's why it's a yeah. badge and you can take it off. That defeats the point of it. If you take right. it off. Yeah, fair point. I'll, I'll put it in the microwave to kill the RFID chip. <laughs> then, <laughs> pretty much the ep- point of it. And, defe- and just destroy the thing <laughs> in its entirety. Oh. So. Okay. Uh, so that completes our... Oh, that was a loud ping. Oh. Uh, uh, what, we're, not gonna have, we're not going to have honourable mentions this time? Sure, let's go honourable mentions. The Master's laser screwdriver. The, the laser Ooh. screwdriver, yeah? <laughs> uh, uh, Come on. I've got Last one. has to get a bit of love. I've got one of those. Anyway, moving right along. Let's find something I don't have on my shelf. <laughs> uh, canine? I, have hey. a, I technically have a mini canine on my shelf. Next to my, <laughs> next to my TARDIS. God damn it! One, one of my many TARDISes. <laughs> the uh, oh. the uh, emergency transporter from Nemesis. Yep. That was pretty I cool. can second that. I can second that. Yep. I thought of something God. pretty cool, which I actually have a Saiyan Scouter. It's like <laughs> Vegeta! <laughs> Vegeta! <laughs> I'm haunting you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Nappa! Uh, damn it, Ghost of Nappa! It's what a, does it's, the Scouter say? Shall we start it's, on the Star it's, Wars? It's 1006. Yeah. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> But those oh, Superman would to- totally kick all their asses. Oh yeah, no, I, I hate Superman. He is brutally overpowered, and yes, he would annihilate anyone in Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, mm. um, just want to say, those who haven't seen Dragon Ball Z abridged, you really need to watch it. It is fucking hilarious. It is great. Piccolo and, is a Yoshi. i and, and probably Yu-Gi-Oh, fast forward and, and not watch it. And Yu-Gi-Oh abridged as well. <laughs> Screw yeah. the rules, I have green hair. Um, what was it, um... I've come to the city to play card games on motorcycles. Goals. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I can't believe they did that. Okay, anyway, so moving right along to our second topic, Star Wars Day. So, I really saw a to just play music off my iPhone right now. So, yesterday, <laughs> somebody posted something interesting on their Facebook page. 
<laughs> something that I know that may or may not piss off at least one person on this podcast. AJ! At least one person won't You're care. You're welcome. Okay. Although, actually, it did make me think, so that's actually a good thing. EJ, do you want to read it, or do you want me to read it? Because I've got it right in front of me. Uh, you can go ahead and read it, and... Uh, what? A, a, a Wartard actually can think? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bunta poodle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, the I'll, alien I'll, I'll, I know the alien insults. I'll, I'll, do my, I'll do my best EJ impersonation. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have an, we're gonna this is gonna end badly. <laughs> I am honestly and unabashedly a tricky. Did <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Kermit the Frog? What the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't get past the sentence. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, we just EJ, went up. EJ, just read it. Oh, I think I killed me. Yeah, I, uh, I, oh, well, oh, look, my glasses. Where the hell did they come from? Whatever. <laughs> Put them back on. So, so let me just proceed, like, what, <laughs> where this came from. I, um, I found a old, oh, here it is, uh, uh, um, an old uh, VHS player, an old tube television, and my VHSs of um, Star Wars. And oh, I started watching them, and wow. that's what I got me thinking. Those are actually yes. worth a, uh, those are worth a little bit, those old things. And I'm guaranteed there's one person on this podcast who's currently climbing through his computer to steal them. <laughs> no, <laughs> two no, of us. No, trust me. no. See, no. My mum's got them. I'll just go steal from her. <laughs> and uh, uh, she's not listening, so. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, well, the, EJ, go. <laughs> it's really funny because the VHSs I'm watching are those ones from like from the mid nineties that were released and they have like, uh, it's really funny. Cause they're like, they're being released, you know, for the new generation one last time. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, like a few years later they came out on DVD. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got the original trilogy on VHS. Announces, announces are so annoying sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so this was my post and so I am honestly an, an unabashedly a truckie since I apparently talk like this. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just chose a random said, voice. <laughs> that said, I'm not. This sounds more like Mickey Mouse. I was just about uh, to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we, Howdy ho, boys and girls. So what you're saying it's is time for so sexual f- education with Mickey Mouse. So far, we've um, got a Mickey Mouse, a Kermit <laughs> the Frog. We're well on our way to having a. Having an animated Avengers. <laughs> that'll, that'll end catastrophically. <laughs> Carry on. Yes, anyway. So, that's sad. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> that said, I'm, I'm not tr- just trying to be an ass with this post. I'm honestly and openly curious with this question. What is the point of Star Wars? With Star Trek, I always knew what the point was, to inspire humanity to a better future. Yes. Aside from telling a fun story, what did Star Wars do for us? How did it benefit humanity? How is watching it anything more than fun? What does it do for us? How is it more than a waste of time? I'm seriously not trying to be an ass. I'm just curious to see if there's an answer. By the way, I'm watching A New Hope while I make this post. <laughs> That's actually a valid point. Valid point. It, it is, actually. It, it actually made me think, and I got some stuff, actually. I thought we already established that you're incapable of that. <laughs> hey, 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 I am not from Tasmania. The, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. For, for those curious, Tasmania is a tiny little, well, fairly decent sized island off, off the south of Australia, and it's viewed as hillbilly country. Even though it is technically not, if you're going for hillbilly country, you're in Die, Queensland, entire, but that's semantics. The entire Alabama, Alabama, you know. Hang on, I thought, Tas- I thought that was Northern Territory. No, nah, Northern Territory's not that bad. Anyway, it's just bad. anyway, on topic, Star Wars. There's only one topic Stuart knows how to think about. He deletes everything else, and it's Star Wars. Go. <laughs> Wait. All right. So, um, I, 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 um, I went over this, and I was thinking, what does Star Wars show? And it shows a few different, um, different aspects. Uh, it, it shows, um, with the Sith, it shows the betrayal of of hum of humanity. How people always betray them, um, betray others. And turn on everyone. Uh, with the with the with the I'm gonna say the good. I'm not gonna say the light because I hate 
the light. I hate the term the light side. I really do. They really can't be counted as the light side if they really no, kill a lot of people. No, the Jedi are not the light side. They're they're ignorant fools. Yeah. It, that exactly. shows see, the Jedi shows the religious side of things where they're stuck in their old, old in their old fashioned ways. And well, look what happened to them. They they also got some. If you look at the Jedi objectively, they're pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Even though they're meant to be built, um, to be built on the age of what George uh, Lucas made them, and they're meant to be somewhat of samurais with the yeah. different fighting styles and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. Um, with try, the Repu- try try and make a coherent point at some point in the next twenty minutes. I'm getting there. <laughs> you can't make a good point with Star Wars. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> No, at least, the script's, the script's so he's getting mind. somewhere. He's actually getting somewhere for a change. That's a fair point. <laughs> I'm actually uh, with the Republic side of things. That shows the whole um, po- um, political side of everything. How everything's always pol- um, politics and everything. How there's always well bad politics and even worse politics. There's no good politics ever. No, technically, there was one good politician. Maybe Senator two. Banks. It, it was horrible. <laughs> Senator <laughs> Banks. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. <laughs> In episode one, where we get to see the ET aliens. Oh in yeah. The Senate. <laughs> oh. Trade Federation. Hey, uh. oh, that bring- and that brings you to the separatists. Yeah. The separatists are just trying to find- are just trying to uh, try- a whole different side of politics, and they're trying to do things their way. And then religion got involved. Sort of like communism. Yeah, not really. Say the- hail. Yeah. <laughs> And then the rebels just don't care and just want to and just rebel against everything. Yeah, let's say I, I saw it as my way of looking at what Star Wars is. No matter how outnumbered you are, no matter how outgunned, no matter what pressure you're under, and this is obviously I'm talking about the rebels um, against the Empire. You always have to stand up to the bully in the room. Well, even always... if you're the smallest guy, it's better to stand up and try and hold your own, even if you know you're going to get smeared across the ground. Because eventually you'll find their Death Star and blow it up. <laughs> I always saw it a bit more like this. Um, think it, let's think about that the um, the old Republic, like the um, prequel Republic, is like the late Roman Empire. Yeah. Okay, they're alive. The one man that controls them all and the slight momentum shit, the last emperor of the Roman Empire. Yeah. And eventually it crashes with a new uprising, let's say the British. And then they start uh, overspreading. To the British, just, just, just for the record, those out there who know history, uh, Cooper is technically not part of Safe Life. I do not blame us for any of his historical. I know, actors. I know. But you, you know what I'm trying to get? It's a point yeah, of. It was, it was conk, bar- barbarians from, um, if I remember correctly, it wasn't it the Germanic tribes or something? Raided. Oh, that's it, the Prussians. The Prussian Empire. Prussians. Hmm? No. That's it, it, it was the Huns. And yeah, the Huns. Of, that's it, the Huns. The Huns and the Franks and a, and a, a bunch of other barbarian tribes that once, once Rome was sacked, they just moved in. And the main problem was that they kept, um, it, that the Romans were no longer willing to fight for Rome. Uh, and they were just trying to like live off of the glories of past well, empires. Well, well, a, sorry, uh, that's past what I'm just trying to get that. It's a changing of imper- like, in, like think about it, the Republic controlled one huge point under some sort of control, right? There's two forms of empires, hence that 13, which is the em- well, the legitimate empire, and then the rebels were kind of well, they well, I guess oh, they're trying to. No, you know, I've lost the point. Just skip it. <laughs> well, well, actually, I thought something you said Roman Empire. Where's the Colosseum in all this? Uh, uh, big shit? Isn't the Colosseum the Senate when the Emperor and Yoda were in there? Pretty much. Ultimate Frisbee. Unless you count you the Battle of Geonosis as the, as the Colosseum. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, Can you imagine like... what would have happened if the Jedi had the Hulk on their side in the Battle of Geonosis? <laughs> Not much. Trust me. We have an army. We have, we a, have Hulk. a Hulk. No, no, we have an army of creepy fucking insects and robots. We've got a Hulk. We have. A you Hulk. win. <laughs> we have Django <laughs> Fett and Count Dooku. Enough said. No, it is the Hulk. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk, smash puny Jedi. Sorry. Sid. And, and plus, plus, we know what happens to Hulk when he gets hit with lightning, and that makes him more pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it just makes him a tad angrier. <laughs> uh, and I doubt a lightsaber is going to do too much to a skin. Yeah, <laughs> eh, probably not. Well, considering, yeah. considering he's got insta heal, it sort of 
null and voids any damage anyway. It's like, yep. oh look, you chopped off his arm. <laughs> now there's two of him. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that'd actually be scary. <laughs> that'd be one of those moments where Dooku's like, yep, I'm out. <laughs> But I mean, my whole thing with Star Wars is every time I watch it, I just I, I I just see a lot of fun, and I see this this very simplistic story based on uh, um, heroic stereotypes. You have just a blanket. These are the good guys. These are the bad guys. We're gonna have an epic struggle, and it's like every other um, not well thought out show I've ever. Yeah. Seen and while it does do a very good job of exemplifying these historical uh, heroic stereotypes, uh, I don't really see the characters really popping off the page. I don't really see um, uh, I don't really see a whole lot of intellectualism going on. I don't see anything that's meant to inspire. It is uh, very generic. Well, see, the, 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 the problem with that is the different mediums. TV shows and movies are two totally different beasts. Mm -hmm. In a movie, you've got an hour and a half, two hours, or in the case of Lord of the Rings, 20 hours to get, to get your story across. Whereas in a TV show, you've got, what, 20-odd episodes a week for 45 minutes for per season? So between 20 and 30 episodes? So you've got a lot more time in a TV show to develop characters, whereas in a movie, you can't necessarily focus on characters in an action movie. It just... It's something that doesn't tend to work very well. Star Wars couldn't do that with three movies, buddy. <laughs> Star Wars couldn't do it with 20 movies if it tried. But no, could now, be, they couldn't. Now, now, now that um, they've got other sort of... Now they've got other mediums like the TV shows and stuff, they've got that chance to develop their characters. Um, so, yeah. I'm just not... <laughs> Okay. There's, there's a point where it comes to Star Wars where the where you, the movies don't r really have a point of yeah. of telling a story. They just have the confusion, the, the, the explosions. They don't they don't have the thing at the end where it's like, oh, and here's the lesson you're meant to learn. They don't have that, and I I, I, I openly admit that. Like there are a lot of flaws in Star Wars. Yeah. Like I don't like it's going to be my favorite, but I don't think it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It tracks a lot more like sound like as yeah. a story. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, okay, here's, here, yeah. can I say something before everyone runs over me again? Um, oh boy. Okay, most of the movies and TV shows don't link up to each other. I think Marvel's the only one who's done that. Um, Trek links up. Uh, Trek, what, Trek, most do, you, do you mind if oh, you take Trek and I'll take Star Wars? Um, well, all I was going to say is Trek links up, but uh, I understand what you mean with... She, what she means is there's very little in the way of character crossover type stuff. Is that what you mean, Amy? Yeah, there's no... Yeah. Sort of the consequences of the movie bleed into the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, with, well I'm going to take an example with Rebels here. It, has, it, actually, it, um, it actually links the prequels with, this, with the originals. Yeah. Because you've got the crossover of Ahsoka being brought in at the end, and then also um, Lando and Grand Moff Tarkin were, were um, in season one as well. Yeah, Lando, I love Lando, and so is the so is three PO and R two and that. Yeah, um, so they've got they've got the stuff there. Um, um, but what she means is in like Agents of Shield, the yeah. events in Captain America where um, Hydra pops up and Captain America eventually disbands Shield for in favor of defeating Hydra, yeah. um, that bled through into the show, and then that show continued the story right through past Thor and into the current Avengers movie. The episode that just finished last week leads directly into the Avengers, and it sort of yeah. ties the whole universe together. Whereas the Star Wars movies, where the original trilogy um, sort of tie together... So backwards to, so to speak the <laughs> yeah, uh, backwards yes and then the, the the prequel trilogy sort of tie together ish and they tie to each other loosely the tv shows like the clone wars and clone wars and rebels uh, we and... don't no no we no, 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 no. we do not talk about the cartoon series ever yeah that, that... i know clone wars is pretty good the, the, no no the, the no no the cgi clone wars yes the shitty cartoon one that was on cartoon network can that was a, better. Can die in a <laughs> hole? Are you kidding me? That was better. Yeah, I still have that take on VHS. That was amazing. Well, uh, yeah, I have them because I was stupid, I was at, the stupid time. at the time. Oh. Echo, oh. Echo. 
Echo, EJ. EJ. EJ's back. <laughs> Woohoo! Sorry, guys, my internet decided to go screw have... you, hippie. Uh, on the plus side, at least it wasn't your power going off two minutes after the podcast finished, like what happened to me last time you were on. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. That was great. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, what the hell happened? Yeah. But no, um, the, yeah. the, we can leave the my the bones I hate with, Star, with the Clone Wars cartoon series for a later podcast. I, like yeah. I, I could do it. a whole thing on it. Uh, well, we'll leave the, the Clone Wars versus Clone Wars discussion later. But yeah, the, 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 the general... Wars. The general, um, we're talking the cartoon animated series versus the 3D animated series. And it sort of falls into the category of hashtag leaving that the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've only right, seen... Well, we only have like 15 uh, minutes left. Yeah, I know. We're moving on to our second thing. And we're going to do this one point at a time. And hopefully we'll have enough time to cover all of them. Six reasons the Jedi would be a villain in any sane movie. <laughs> Religious crackpots, straight up. Number six, the Jedi mind trick is fucking terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the Jedi mind trick is straight up. Mm, by the way, I don't want you to do that anymore. And whoo, you go on. Just take be like full the, control um, over someone's will. It's like it'd curse be like, from Harry Potter. It'd be like walking up to a hot chick at Supernova and going, like, say, Summer Glow, like, going. By the way, you want to come back to my place tonight? And she's like, okay. And you're like, yeah! Winning. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many ways you can, like, misuse that power. Oh, yeah. And oh, it's, yeah. It's not like the Jedi have any real rules that sort of limit that power. They tend to just sort of do Well, whatever. yeah, that you must be, um, what is it, celibate. Yeah. No, well, no, I'm, I'm, I mean... You're also trained from a young age, though. Uh, you're trained from a young age. Yeah, you, you ripped away the from Jedi way of life and yeah. proper use of those powers. Well, so we, we get into that, but I still think the Jedi mind trick falls into the category of only villains use mind fuckery, and no good ever comes from manipulating someone's mind. That's just something that ends badly. <laughs> except, except for it's when a stormtrooper's and it's not the droids they're looking for. Yeah, I had to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, there's no good reason. No, that. Stuart, that's the only time any joke you make is excusable. Yeah. Okay, number five. Now, for those who are following at home, I am just... we pre- Earlier tonight, we read a cracked article called... Um, Hang on, I'm going to put it... I'll put yeah. it in um, chat for everyone. Yeah. Six, here. six reasons the Jedi would be a villain in an insane movie. It's up on our... Um, it's up it's, on the Facebook page. It's up on the Facebook page, which is in the chat room. So, number five is the Jedi have no official policies, regulations, or accountability. They are sort of a police force unto themselves. Mm. They just... Yeah. Whoever's typing my ears, oh my ears. Compared compared to Starfleet, thank you very much. Yeah. Compared to Starfleet, which have rules and regulations regarding different things, the Jedi seem to have very little of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of a, oh look, you can use mystical voodoo powers. We're going to kidnap your ass and keep you away from your family and brainwash you. Even Um, though there is a Jedi code, I don't like the code, to be honest. The 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 fifth one's battle. Yeah, but it's never expanded upon and it's almost never followed by the main characters. If anything, it seems as an encumbrance to actually doing what needs to be done. (laughs) Anakin... I was about to say now, even Obi Wan broke. I mean, look, look, look at a Duchess Satine. Yeah, we know, we know something happened there. Ooh, e, oh, yeah. ooh, uh, G-tang, well, I've been there. <laughs> giggity, giggity, oh, that. It's all giggity, giggity, oh, right. Right. That with her. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I know the song. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so it's yeah. Oop, there goes EJ again. <laughs> He's having some real issues. Anyway. We've only got 10 minutes left anyway in the podcast, yeah, so... News. Moving on to number four. Uh, Jedi don't care about the Republic or democracy in general. Um, As I said, this is this is them being stuck in their old-fashioned way. Yeah. Again, I repeat, religious crackpots. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go there, but... Oh, I'm an atheist. I'm a diehard atheist, so I'm going straight for it. Yeah. I, I, I would. Oh, number one! Oh my god! I, w- I would definitely, ag- definitely agree that. Oh, yeah, it's... number one is perfect. Yeah, um, yeah, that's definitely a fair point. Like they go around chopping off arms because 
you happen to look at me and sort of foe threaten me. So, you lose an arm. Goodbye. Have fun. I don't that. like you either. <laughs> yeah. And uh, probably my favorite point is number th is um yeah. No, my favorite's number one. <laughs> no, I'm no, done. My, my my favorite's number three. The Jedi have no non-lethal option. It is slice you up with a glowy light, glowy sword or slice you up with a glowy sword or slice you up with a glowy sword. Or force push you down a cliff. Or, for, or force push you down a cliff or Jedi mind trick you. I guess Jedi mind trick brainwashing is the closest thing they've got to... Non-lethal. Non-lethal. Which is... I can go the morbid option and say convince them to kill themselves, but yeah. Yeah. They don't have any lethal matters. Yeah. So, I, and yeah, to me, that's a very bad choice. If if you're going to be super mind fucky space cops, you at least need a taser or a zat. That needs to be a series, space cops. Yeah. Um, okay, number two, Jedi are trained to feel no remorse or pity. Yeah. Pretty Emotionless. Much. So you you can't love anyone. You can't feel sorry for them. You just yeah. Do what I tell you, and that's it. Pretty much. And last, mm. but last but not least, the craziest point of them all, and this one, while still, this would be my number two as opposed to number one, but that's just me. No, this is the number one for sure. Oh, it's 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 a doozy. <laughs> oh yeah. The Jedi abduct children. They no, will... not with the white band, but with the white starship. Yeah, they rock up. They take your kids and carry and them off the brainwashing. Oh, yeah. It's, it's And if the parents don't agree, they kill you. Pretty much, yeah. It's a fairly sort of horrific thing to do. Okay, anyway, Stuart, you have eight minutes for the news. So, feel Go, free, go, go! Feel free to news the news whenever you want to news the news. But, actually, before you start, really quickly, I just want to say, Dragon Ball Z's got a new season! Woo! Yeah, baby! Really? Oh, brother. The first Shut season up. in 19 years, because GT doesn't exist, and anyone that says it does is getting airlocked. <laughs> as long as they don't make uh, Gohan weak again, I'll be happy. Yeah, who knows? So, it's, it's from what I've read, it's set after Boo, and might be set before... Okay. Might be set before the, the God movies, but we're not sure. So, yeah, but... Dragon Ball Z, new season, coming our way, going to be awesome. Okay. And EJ is back, he missed out on all of the fun of the Star Wars talk, and we're on you, to the news. How do you feel? Not last one, no! the, Jedi, the last one, the Jedi abduct children, enough said. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, yeah, anyone that abduct, abducts children for any reason, it, they can't be good people. Not <laughs> even for science, Joseph Mangale. Yeah. Mind you, if they're orphans, you can't abduct, abduct orphans because no one will miss them. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> For those who haven't seen Dragon Ball Z abridged, you need to watch it. That's what I quoted. Anyway, Stuart. Stuart. Where are you? Guys. Airlock. Stuart, Stuart's gone. He's, he's, he's gone. So, moving on with... The news. Um, let me bring up some news. <laughs> well, I'll say something. Um, set for uh, set for has been released on set for X Men Apocalypse with um, the revealing of Jean Grey and Jubilee. That's pretty cool. The photo for um, uh, wow, my brain has just died. Jubilee and Jean Grey. Well, uh, no, no, not that. Uh, no, not that. Sorry, I'm currently scrolling through the, the Facebook page looking for news. That's what I'm looking for. The first cast squad for Suicide Squad, could not think of what it was called, has been revealed. And it's got everybody in it, and it looks spectacular. Yes, it does. Hi, I'm back. Oh, he's back. What did uh, you hear? Just really quickly, Hawaii Con, my, my favorite con of them all after... Well, my favorite con of them all, if I could ever... Get to Hawaii it would be nice. <laughs> um, has got some really cheap day passes um, up at the moment on their page. So jump over to the Hawaii Con Facebook page and check them out. It's, yeah, it's going to be good. I just really want to go there. It's going to be awesome. But unfortunately, it falls at the same time as bloody Oz Comic Con again. 
um, award-winning cinematographer Andrew Len- Lesney. The man who also directed, helped with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he helped with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I am legend. Has died at age 59. Um, that someone has released a Star Wars, the Binks Awakens trailer, which I think is hilarious. It's amazing. It is absolutely, it is absolutely hilarious. So, if you haven't seen it, you should jump on and check it out. Hmm. Um, there's also a... Actually, I think that might be finished. Let me just have a really quick... Still better than episode three. <clears throat> um, oh, that's barking. Oh, wow. It's that's just, probably not a good thing. Just out of nowhere, that happened. Um, so... That be my dad. There's, there's 21 hours left on the Yorktown A Time to Heal uh, fan trailer. What they're doing is they're remastering an old Star Trek fan film and they're raising money for it. So if you've got a chance, jump over to their Indiegogo page and send them a little bit of love from us. Um, so yeah, I've, outside of that, Stuart, you've got the news. I've done half of it for you because you suck. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, oh yes, one, one last thing. Inner Dimension Episode 1 will be online for free on May the 16th if you subscribe to the show. To subscribe to the show, go to innerdimensiontvshow.com. This is the episode we watched, the host watched, a couple of weeks ago. I definitely recommend you check it out. Is this Yorktown? Yeah. No, no, no. This is uh, Inner Dimension Episode 1. Okay. Um, and just because I know I'm going to annoy Stuart by saying it, Red Dwarf's coming back, doo-da, doo-da. I'm so yeah. happy! Red Dwarf's coming I back love for Red... two whole seasons. Yay! Unfortunately, it's still another two years away. I don't care, it's coming back. It's coming back 2016 and 2017, so it's going to be oh. great. Um, I'm still scrolling down through my posts to try and pass all my Avengers things. <laughs> actually, I have a bit of actually a bit of Avengers Ooh, news. Ooh, Defiance is coming back June 13. Thank you, Sci-Fi Australia. Oh, mm. don't like Defiance. No. Yeah. Oh, we got some bad news. Sci-Fi has cancelled Helix after two seasons, and Never... after watching episode one of Helix, I am not that surprised. Nah, I couldn't <laughs> get into a Helix. I'm really sorry, Helix people, but I just I, I no. couldn't do it. Couldn't. <laughs> I'm not. Um, so, um, I found some news, um, someone has managed to make a list of all the easter eggs that was in, um, Age of Ultron. Ooh! Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but there was an Iron Fist, uh, easter egg in, um, Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so, um, the the most notable, uh, ones for the easter eggs is, uh, obviously that they went to Wakanda. So that that obviously sets up. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, oh, that's right! It only just came out. Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake! Yeah, we we watched it like two weeks ago. Hurry the frig up! So, oh yeah. Well, well, I guess I'll cover that next week then. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll cover it next week. We've only got a couple of minutes left, so. Why couldn't you have covered it when I was gone? Because we did. <laughs> we, we've been covering all sorts of things while you're um, gone. It's eight o'clock. I know. We've we've still got a couple of minutes left on the cast. It's fine. Oh, uh, pictures for Ninja Turtles from, uh, um, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Suicide Squad, already no, done it. No, 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 uh, Oliver Queen as Casey in, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, okay. no, 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 no. He has the, he has no, the mask and no. he has the hockey sticks. No, no, no. okay, no. maybe because no. hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> no, say, say. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers are the two series that are perma-banned from being mentioned on the podcast. <laughs> and Abrams Track. No, Abrams Track is awesome. No. 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 <laughs> and that's how you piss off the trackies. <laughs> <laughs> and and limited power. <laughs> okay, that line was stupid. <laughs> that really was a stupid line in the movie. <laughs> when did EJ turn into the Emperor? When did EJ turn into the Emperor? Anyway, um, we're in literally the last couple of seconds, so 
Um, Bye, yes, everyone. your chance to say goodbye. Oh, that was a tad loud. Okay, <laughs> Coop, go. Goodbye. EJ, go. I'm afraid that Star Trek is so much better than Star Wars. <laughs> I'm afraid I agree with EJ. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, go. Bye, all. See you next week. Stuart, go. Yeah, I agree it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. So, it's official. Victory. The last four seconds of the podcast. It is official. Star Trek has been asked. 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 It is official.